decided to talk about this case in a different video because there's a couple things in this case that's a lot different than the previous cases. Plus this case was new and it was only for the DS and in later games. Yeah, let's talk about that real quick before we continue. You see, when this game first came out, it was originally for the Game Boy Advance in Japan, and there were originally four cases. So when the game was re-released for the Nintendo DS, they added in a new case to work with the DS's new controls, like the microphone. So there are some parts that are a little different than the last four cases, but some of the stuff will come into play in the later games, like court scenes taking up two parts. So much like in the last part, I'm going to talk about the new stuff they added in, and then I'm going to talk about the story as well. First, let's talk about the 3D animations in this case. I have to say, for making the translation into the DS, it is a little weird seeing some animation in this game, compared to the other cases at first, but after playing it again, I must admit, it does look pretty cool. The opening scene sets up a pretty good atmosphere to the story, and the build is pretty good. Plus, the rest of the animation is really great. It moves really nicely, and it fits pretty good into the backgrounds of the game. For animation, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. You also have a new mechanic that will be used for later games. For example, now when you find clues, you can examine the evidence more closely and carefully from each angle. You also have two items that you can use for your investigation. One of them is the luminal testing fluid, where you can use it to find hidden bloodstains by just tapping your touchscreen on the DS. And you also have the aluminum powder for fingerprints. If you find something that looks like a handprint, you can choose a finger that will most likely give you a fingerprint. All you have to do is touch the screen to spray the powder into different spots, and then you have to blow the stuff away by blowing into your microphone. If you're playing this on an emulator, then all you have to do is choose a button for your microphone and you can just press the button to remove your powder, but I would highly recommend that you get a microphone for reasons you'll probably see later. Now as for the new stuff they added in for this case, I actually like, but at the same time, because we're so used to just picking up the clue, that we almost forget that we can look closely at it they don't really use it all that much to their advantage. But still, it actually does feel like we're investigating the case, and I do like some of the parts they added in as well. So for the investigations, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Now to give my thoughts on the music real quick. I've already stated in the last part on how much I love the music, and in this case it's no different. There's still some really good scores in here to match with the characters and the settings, and just like last time, I'll give the music a 10 out of 10. Okay, now let's talk about the story and the case itself real quick. So in this case, it's been two months since Phoenix's last trial, and when Maya left the office to do her spirit medium training. You start off by meeting Emma Skye, a 16-year-old girl that wants to become a scientific investigator. Her sister, Lana, is in jail for, big shock, a murder case. Although, unlike the last cases, she seems pretty confident that she did it. And much like the last case, there's another case that was solved two years ago. The other case that was solved two years ago is called the SL9 Incident, where it's actually a serial murder case. Anyway, along the case, you'll meet some new characters, like a detective who thinks he's from the Wild West named Jake Marshall, a lunch lady named Angel Starr, Officer Meekins, who... yeah, he's just an officer, and Damon Gant, who is by far the best villain and best character ever, and each of them has both ties to this case and the SL9 incident. When I first started playing this case, at first I thought it was okay. Like I said, I love the fact that you get to do more stuff when it comes to examining the crime scene, and seeing some of the new places was pretty cool. But when I first started playing the case, the first part of the story felt really slow and I was starting to lose some interest in it. But to be fair, that's probably because the first time playing it, I got a little lost during the investigation part. But at the end of Jake Marshall's trial, I was starting to get interested in the story. And playing this case again, it's not as bad as I thought it was. Now, there are still some slow moments in this case, but the story is what really helps it out. That and the characters themselves. Each of the characters have their own motive for the case at hand that they're dealing with, and have an explanation on why they are here today. In fact, I actually like some of the characters in this case. They're all pretty likable, and the sprites of them are pretty good. Jake is a fun character. Emma, at first, I thought was a little bit of annoying, but she soon started to grow on me once I found out more stuff about her and her sister. But speaking of the connection between her and Lana, it's pretty good, and, and you understand both of their points of views on each other. But by far, my most favorite character in this case is Damon Gant. He is just so much fun to watch. His soundtrack is awesome, and just the way that he smiles and presents himself, 
that at first you wouldn't think he was the killer or the bad guy, which makes him all the more interesting, and when you do catch him, he's still cool. So, on the whole, does this case still have its flaws? Yes, but playing it again, I started to like it a bit more than when I first played it. So I'll give this case a 7 out of 10. And that was Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. I really enjoyed this game. To me, this is a good game with good story, music, characters, and mystery to go along with it. It's easily one of my favorite games. One of those games that tries something different and it works really well. Based on the parodies and some of the praises that this game is getting, that if you like puzzle games or mystery games that has a point and click feel to it, check it out. You can get it for the DS or as an emulator if you want. My final score for this game will give it an 8 out of 10. And there's my review on Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Like I said, this is one of my favorite games of all time. It's not the best game that has ever come out, but I still really enjoy it enough that I wouldn't mind playing it again. And I love seeing other people play it too, especially for blinds and watching their reaction. So thank you all for watching this review, and special thanks to Skinny Mini and Pharaoh for the little intro in the end. And if you want to check out their sub, Phoenix Wright Let's Play 2, it's actually pretty fun. So, till then, this is Gord Diesel saying thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next video or maybe next review. So, till then, take care, everyone.